Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a foundation feature on the Ordinary High Coverage Foundation. Um, I have been interested in the Ordinary for a really long time. I actually bought this foundation probably over three years ago now, I think. And uh, um, I just started the foundation feature um, series on my channel so I figured it would be one of the ones that um, I would go to because it is very very inexpensive um, I'm wearing it on my skin right now and also just a disclaimer I've already filmed this video once before and I've been using this foundation for probably about four or five weeks because I am one of those people who I don't like feeling rushed like I hate filming, editing, and uploading in one day. Um, I'm not that person. So I always film about a month in advance from when you're actually seeing the video so that I can edit everything and then here and there I can pop in something that I've, you know, that I feel like would be a good addition to the channel sort of thing. Um, but I've lost all that footage. So I am going to be uploading this this evening so you're not gonna get a evening check-in from me um, unfortunately what I will say is that I know how this foundation performs and by the end of the night I look like a grease slick um, again it looks really pretty now um, I feel like it looks really natural and you can definitely see the difference between like where I have highlighter on and where the foundation is a lot of foundations that look greasy on me will look greasy like right here and really on my chin and between my eyebrows and this isn't doing that yet but by the end of the night um, a lot of it will have worn off around my chin it melts around my nostrils like nobody's business it really sinks into my pores it's just not a foundation that I'm super excited about and I know that's kind of like a sad or kind of like a bad note to start the video on but um, again I've been using this foundation for about five weeks now um, it has lasted because I only use one pump um, but um, I just it's not my favorite foundation I've been using it so that again I could give you guys this update um, but it's just not something that is I don't know it's just not in my holy grail so this is the ordinary colors coverage foundation high coverage foundation formula um, it's from the abnormal beauty company or DCM um, it says shake before use dispense a small amount onto the palm or back of your hand, smooth on and blend through the face, ideally outward from the midpoint of the face. I am in the shade 1.1N, which is a fair neutral, and I think it's a good shade match for me. I'm on the Ordinary website right now. This um, foundation is a 30 mil foundation, so perfectly normal. Um, it is $6.90. Um, though I think that it's out of stock right now and this is what the um, shade range looks like I hope that's in focus for you guys um, so it's not the worst I've ever seen but it's also not the best I've ever seen it doesn't look like it goes very deep um, it looks like it could potentially go quite fair um, but there's just a lot of shades in the middle and a lot of them are fair shades it says high spreadability pigment suspension system with high coverage it has a pH of 6 to 7.5 water free alcohol free or no it's not water free sorry their little system is confusing I think um, alcohol free oil free nut free vegan gluten free cruelty free um, it says coverage foundations are full coverage formulations available in a comprehensive shade range across 21 shades these foundations contain higher pigment levels than our serum foundations but still offer a smooth finish that avoids the heavy makeup look that can still make skin appear more aged the texture is that of a lightweight non oily cream which I personally don't agree with. The pigments used in these formulations are treated for a rich, highly saturated effect. These pigments are suspended in our proprietary spreadability system that allows pigments to look natural on the skin, resist collecting with fine within fine lines, and stay on for longer. 
They offer a semi-matte finish, are incompatible with most primers, and are designed to work exceptionally well with the primers offering from The Ordinary. One sold in the EU offer SPF 15. Please note that the formulations are and will be the same in all markets, but the packaging will claim SPF 15 only in the European Union. Um, they do have a guide to um, picking your shade um, and a lot of people really really like it it has good rating on their website um, yeah so that's it again that it's 650 CAD I'll go ahead and I will insert swatches for you guys now all right so here are the swatches of the foundations that I have done in my foundation feature um, playlist so far. So this is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in Vanilla. This is not my shade. Um, this is actually very, very yellow for me. I do need to get a new one, but this is the one that I reviewed. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir Foundation, the ColourPop No Filter Foundation, and the Ordinary High Coverage Foundation. All right, so this is how the finished skin looks. I definitely feel like from kind of like this distance, um, it definitely looks like decent. Um, I, again, don't have a whole lot of other makeup on um, just because this is what I do every day and I have a very busy day ahead of me. Um, I literally have 10 minutes to finish this. <laughs> um, but... It definitely has a very um, satin finish. I feel like the coverage is something that I personally like. It's kind of like a more medium coverage. You could probably build this up, but um, I don't like having a very full coverage foundation on day to day. Um, I will try it full coverage once and I will put that in the pinned comment um, and on Instagram. My brain is so all over the place. Um, I feel like it didn't do anything for my pores necessarily, um, it just is kind of there, I guess. I know, I don't, I don't, I know I probably sound really, really mean in this video, but I just, I don't know, it just isn't my favorite and, uh, um, I'll definitely keep using it to use it up, but... I don't think it's something that I would repurchase. Alright guys, this is what the foundation looks like after I think I filmed this at like 11 and it's 3.45 right now, okay? <laughs> uh, my blemish is really poking through, it's really aggravated, my skin like doesn't just look good this like I can definitely rescue it with powder and setting spray but it's crazy that this has not been you know 18 hours of wear or 18 who I don't like this foundation it has not been eight hours of wear yet and this is how my skin is looking so definitely um leaves something to be desired um I know this was definitely more of a negative foundation review which I'm not used to um, but definitely let me know what you guys think if you've tried the Ordinary Foundation before and the high coverage one. Um, and let me know what foundation you want to see next. I thank you guys so much for, good bless you dude, spending the day with me and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!